Yes, have uh, started coming out of the uh, tunnel, ably led by match commissioner Al Hassan Mohammed from uh, Tamale. Match officials for the afternoon, we will uh, introduce them shortly. But there, the two combatants come out of the uh, tunnel. Accra Hatu folk are sporting their traditional rainbow colors. Eleven whites in their traditional home outfit of predominant white with the uh, red and the uh, lemon green uh, to match. Well, for us, folk, Prince, they are missing the services of Patrick Razak, and I'm told he suffered that injury. It's a, it, it's a wrist injury together with another injury, um, and uh, he's missing in action here. As well as Victor Edu, their top goal scorer, it's on the substitute bench. There's no Sumaila Larry, and he's serving a suspension after um, three year look has accumulated. Well, for 11. And that's one of the uh, gentlemen they look out for for goal scoring opportunities, abilities, and strike on target. Some of which is also on the bench, uh, at least for the uh, commencement of this game. And uh, probably Ignatius Osei Fusu, the head coach of uh, Wonders, believes that he might call upon the services of the experienced Samuel Boache later on in the game. But as you saw from the technical lineup or the tactical lineup, you see that Olenu Ashite and uh, Tete Norte are both starting this match against their former club, Accra Hearts of Oak. Well, Samuel Boache is uh, on the substitute bench and I asked why he is on the substitute bench and Coach Ignatius Fosu told me that he was missing in training for almost four days before today. So he's not starting him because the boy went for Accra and, uh, you know, went to inquire about his passport. He was not at training. But he will call upon him any time, duty calls. Center referee for this afternoon's game will be Adari Abdul Latif from Wa, and will be supported by Eric Indabugri and Adenyo Jasper. Our fourth official will be Emmanuel Otu. He's from uh, Kumasi and a teacher by profession. So the two uh, combatants would uh, exchange pleasantries and then uh, after the toss, we will be gearing straight into action. If you, are, if you have just joined us, you're welcome to the uh, Ohene Ameyao Park in Techiman, where Techiman 11 Wonders play host to Accra Hearts of Oak. And don't forget, Hearts of Oak will go on top of the Ghana Premier League momentarily if they win here before Kumasa Antikoroko play tomorrow against Wafa at the Obuasi Lenklei Stadium. And we're hoping that you can certainly join us for that game tomorrow at the Obuasi Lenklei Stadium. And indeed, all other matches in the Ghana Premier League as we are running straight to the finishing line. And you can only do that by getting the Star Times on app on your phone and enjoying the best of made in Ghana football or buy yourself a Star Times decoder at the Channel 247. It's the place to be. And I can tell those who are watching us uh, on the... Uh, at the channel 247 now and for those who are close by that the decoders are available the star times team is here with us at the ohene ameyao park in techiman and they will be following us through to the very end of the match so you would not want to miss one game in the ghana premier league it's getting cagey as we go along well one player who whose name has been mentioned here is La salifu ibrahim the cultured left-footed player and uh, he will be very instrumental to hustle folk. And here is uh, Ignatius Osei Fosu. Eleven Wonders. Um, Prince, you look at him, and he's looking ready for this game. He's poised for action, just like uh, the uh, faces of uh, his charges on the uh, football field. They believe that three points is a must for them. Don't forget, Eleven Wonders are occupying precariously the 15th position. Now this is a team that started the Premiership quite well and had their noses in front, at least as far as the first five, six matches were concerned. But they've taken a nose dive and uh, it's been very difficult bringing them back to a level of pegging. For Grand Hearts of Oak, been there, done that, this is their 58th appearance in the uh, Ghana Premier League since uh, the inception of professionalism and Samuel Buedu believes that today is a must win for his charges as well. Well, he won in the last away game, so he is pretty confident he will do the do here. But every one that's also missing some key players here, Prince. There's no Clement Boyan who has scored two goals, very very important player for eleven wonders this season. And again, there is no Michael Abu, the goalkeeper who signed from Kumasi Asante Koroko, and there's no John Mosi. It's the young goalkeeper.
Ako, and there's no John Mosi. It's the young goalkeeper, Abdullah Ibrahim, who started in goal for 11 wonders, as well as there's no Prince Bafo, the very experienced player on the substitute bench. So first appearance for 11 wonders in the Ghana Premier League. What a season they have had so far. And uh, Salifu Ibrahim, the man in the middle there, will uh, commence the game for us as Akra has to so kick off from right to left as you watch. Amos Prepon, a miscue of a clearance. Wonders are putting themselves under pressure. Unfortunately, that final drive went nowhere from Obeng Jr. Well, you love the pressure, and House of Folk press it very well here. And you see, anytime they press that high, and everyone that's have found one thing, and they are in a haste to, those, to do those clearance, and they are making those petty mistakes at the back. House of Folk better, you know, take control and surprise them. Corner kick to the Phobians, Salifu Ibrahim. Big boot for a clearance from Frank Amankwa. That's a mistake there. And Accra has a folk take advantage. And that man has been probing for a while, especially down that left flank. This time around, it's Pajo Obing Jr. in the right place at the right time. Goal number one. Well, it is a mistake, unpardonable mistake from Tetenote. And uh, Kojo Abi Jr. will pounce on that mistake and make it count. Kojo Abi Jr. silencing the crowd here in the land of wonders. It's goal number seven for Kojo Abi Jr. Look at him. And I told you, Prince, about the pressing. As a folk, we're pressing. And anytime they press, wonders are making those petty mistakes. We see the replay here again. Kojo Abi Jr. with the pressure, with the press here. And oh, Tetenote. Look at him. It was a mistake. Could have had that ball or headed it back to goalkeeper Abdullah, but instead went with a Chester. And Obi Jr. had punished them. Managed to get themselves into the lead right from uh, kickoff, where we see Akra Hearts of Oak get into full flight, trying to push men into open spaces. And of course, Radi Obuka was one of the few suspects down the left flank as they move forward. Wonders holding them uh, steady in their approach. But the cross comes in from Salifu and the quick reflexes by uh, Obeng Jr. But it was cleared out by Tetenote. But this time around, Tetenote's Chester back to goalkeeper resulted in a quick attack by Kojo Obeng Jr. as you can see. And straight into the empty yawning net as the first goal for Accra Hearts of Oak. Goalkeeper Abdullah Ibrahim and Tetenote, a little bit of a misunderstanding there. But Accra had so far, they didn't give up. They still pressed. And uh, their opponents also came fighting with that long shot from Michael Osset, dealt with by Richard Atta. And then there were further opportunities. Handball situation there. Referee says, I would not take anything away from that. They fought and fought and fought. But referee says, nothing would happen. That was the effort from Tete Naughty coming forward with that shot. And then it hit Robert Soa's hand clearly. But the game continued without the referee taking a decision on that. And it gave an opportunity for Accra Hearts of Folk to push out right to the end of the first half. But here at the Ohene Ame Yao Park in Techiman, it's 11 wonders nil, Accra Hearts of Folk 1. Do stay tuned to us because there's more coming your way in the second half. It is not over until it's over. We'll be back shortly. Because there's more coming your way in the...